Hello, you're watching Poker News and welcome back to our coverage of the Poker Stars Championship in Monte Carlo. I'm joined now by Andreas Hoywood from Norway who started day 1B. You've had a great start to day 1B, but first it was kind of intimate. There was only three of you playing for a while. Yeah, we were three for like 45 minutes at least. And one of the guys enjoyed it, one of the guys hated it. So it was uh, like a weird, uh, like a weird balance on the table. Was he hating it because he was losing chips? No, no, he, he, he just wanted a full table and he, he, I don't think he was a very experienced player mm -hmm. and he, want, he, he said he wanted the, like to play more at the full table, he, that's, what, what, that's why he came here. Well, you're a fast and a furious kind of guy, so I imagine you like playing three-handed. I liked it, yes. <laughs> I didn't make a lot of chips though because I, it's somewhat card dependent also, but uh, and also the guy to my right got a few good hands, and but it was uh, I, I like it. It's like you also get to know the other players yeah. better, so you talk more. And now we are eight hundred, and then it's less talk and more serious and less hands played, and that's boring. Yeah. I want I want to play at least half the hands. And it's still early days, anyway. Anything can happen, of course. You ran up a really big stack at the Millions event in Nottingham as well. I did, yes. It went wrong to Stephen Chidwick, right? Yes, that. Have we got like a? <laughs> is he your nemesis now? No, 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 no. <laughs> it, 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 it's like he's a gentleman at the table and he plays well. It's just, not, not, not. I have no, not even a, in so bad feelings towards him. He, he, he was. It was it's like kind of a cooler at that yeah. stage. And when did you finish? Ninety-four. Okay, which is brilliant. Like it's a huge field, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was. I think two hundred fifty-three some or something that was paid. So I was like, we were quite, quite like deep into the money, but still, it's a million up on top. And I had a very nice deck going into day three. So yeah, I, it's I kind I, of disappointing. Yes. And you're having a hip replacement, that's the other news. Yes, So, but now I've finally gotten a date for it, so now I will do it in June. Is it kind of scary or you you, you want to get no, it done? It's, it's not, it's, in fact, it's not a hip replacement, it's a replacing a hip, re replaced prosthetic hip already. Right. So I had a hip replacement. So, so I, it's a, a hip ago. replacement replacement. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> So, and that is a lot more complicated. Like just to replace the hip is easy peasy for like what it is quite yeah, an easy yeah. surgery thing, but replacing a prosthetic hip, then you have to first get that out, and that has that's not coming out yeah. like by its own will. Well, we're wishing you all of the best of luck for that. And for a man that's been through quite a lot in your life, you are always smiling, which is so nice. People should smile. Yes, I agree. Smile, people. Right? But you also smile. I do. Yes. yes. Smiling attracts more smiling. Yes, right? it does. <laughs> Except when you smile, if some other people lose at the table because then they seem to get even less smiley. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny too, though. <laughs> yes, that makes, but it makes other people smile more, so that's good. Well, we hope you do really well here and best of luck with the operation too. Andreas Hoywood, I'm Laura Cornelius. You are watching Poker News. Stay here with all of the latest coverage from the Poker Stars Championship in Monte Carlo.